and welcome back to my channel so today I'm pretty much doing a 10 minute glam kind of get ready with me I have a few hauls I need to film so I thought may as well film me getting ready for it and I need to get it done quickly so this will be like a 10 minute glam um, I don't usually take long to do my makeup anyway I'll just show you my glam makeup look that I usually do when I go out and stuff which usually which doesn't usually take me that long anyway but um, this will be with no foundation. That's my way of being quick. <laughs> um, I find if you have a nice dark eye, I mean, it'll be pretty basic just because I'm no makeup artist. But if you have a nice dark eye, nice long scar and a lip, it makes it kind of glam. <laughs> just gonna tuck my hair behind my ears. Alrighty, so first step I'm going to do is my concealer. So I use the... Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. This is in shade medium. Um, and I'm just going to put that under my eyes. Um, I get a little red around my nose, so there. I got a little red dot here. And we'll just do a line down my nose and chin. And I'm just going to buff that out with a little... Where is she? with a little Morphe kind of condensed brush. And just blend her out. Like so. Um, I love this concealer just because it's not too cakey. It does last but it's not too cakey so you can still kind of breathe under it um but yeah it just gets rid of those dark circles which we want because if you've been following me for a while you know that i have these stupid indents under my eye which makes me look tired all the time but i get so much sleep it's a joke Okay, I'm just gonna blend it out just because it is a little dark for my skin, but we are going to bronze her up. Next step, we're going to contour by using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Suede. Um, I've already done my skincare, so I'll save that for another video. I keep saying that, but um, it's coming, I promise. So I'm just going to draw all over my face. <laughs> and then I go in with a kind of kabu kabuki, is that what you call it? Kab kabuki brush, um, just like an indent, in <laughs> indensed um, brush from Morphe again. Most of my brushes are from Morphe. I bought this like brush set um, a little bit ago. A little bit on my nose. So you can see here that you can still kind of see my freckles. So that concealer is not um, f like completely full coverage. So if you want full coverage, it's not for you. So I'm just gonna blend her down my neck. That jaw, the key. Um, forehead of course. Beautiful. Um, I love this matchstick and they come in so many different colors so it's so good. Okay, and now cheeks. And just like buffing her out. It blends so easily. It's so good too when you're not wearing foundation. I find that I have to do this step um, after I powder. I don't know why I hate putting um, like wet products 
I hate putting wet products on top of powder, but um, I feel like if I have foundation on, it kind of moves, because I like to like get in there. It kind of moves my foundation a bit. So I like to powder first if I'm wearing foundation. Um, so now we are going to go in and set my face. Um, so I like to use the Hourglass um, Dim Light. It's a bit scratched off, but I'm sure you've all heard about this. And I just kind of dab her all over. Especially under eyes, because we don't want her creasing. Alrighty, um, next is... Let's just do eyes. So this is like my go-to eye look. I am so, no, I'm not bad with eyes, but I, I'm really bad at exploring with eyes. So I am actually just going in with the Kylie Cosmetics. Oh God, I've had this for ages now. It's literally all rubbed off, but it's just like the bronzing palette. So dirty. Um, and I just go in with this top color here. It's just like a brown, brownie color. Let us start on the outer corners and then bring her in through the crease. Now, as I said, this is a quick get ready with me. So you just kind of got to chuck her on. Like This is like you get home, you got 10 minutes to get ready. This is what you do. <laughs> um, but I do love bronzy or orangey tones. I feel like it makes... Um, green eyes stand out a lot. So I pretty much just cover my lid there. Okay, and then we'll go for a little bit darker, just on the outer corners. So I'm gonna go in with this darker color down the corner here. I wish I could tell you names, but they're all scrubbed off. Scrub, scrubbed off, <laughs> scrubbed off. So I'm just gonna put this on the outer corners just to deepen up and make her look more glam you know just like so just a little bit okay so we're kind of looking a little bit glam already all right so that's that it's so basic um and i'm gonna do under my eyes as well so i'm just using the sigma eye shading e55 can you read that um, and I'm just going to go in with that dark color first. Like so. And then in with that brown that we used first just to um, shade it out a bit. Okay. Ooh, we're looking, we're looking dark. Um, I am just going to go back in with that other brush and just show her out a bit. Okay, so that is literally all I do for eyes. I'm gonna put a little shimmer on my T-Duck soon, but we'll do that when we get to highlight. Okay, let's do brows. So I just use the Kevin O'Coin, I think that's right, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Precision Brow Pencil in Brunette. Nice, um, thin, angled pencil on the end there. And then it also has a brush at the other end, which is so handy. So I just like to brush these up. I get my brows tinted. Um, really only reason for that is that I don't have to fill in my brows. <laughs> just because I'm not the best at it. Um, so we're just going to go kind of in the middle here. And then just fill in all those empty spots and then i just brush and that is literally all i do <laughs> there we go so that's literally brows done and then i just go in with the zebra brow gel by coney pos coney <laughs> pony cosmetics and i'm just gonna brush those hairs up. I'm going to get rid of a bit of the product on the brush just because we don't want wet looking brows and I'm just going to brush them up like so. 
There we go. So that's pretty much my eyes and brows done. Um, I've got to do mascara and stuff, but I'll do that at the very end. Let's move on to cheeks. So I like to go in with two bronzers. This is my bronzing brush right here. I need to get some new brushes, guys. So comment below your favorite brush brand because I need to get some. So I first go in with the Becca Bronzed Bondi. It's just this one here. Um, this is really nice. And I just kind of contour a bit with this. So it's just this nice brown color. And I just kind of focus that on like the very ends here just to chisel me out a bit. I've got a mirror in front of me guys, so that's why I'm looking above you. Just use that excess for forehead, put on my nose. I, can't, I like to do like the three. Okay, and then I go in with the Pony Cosmetics Bronzing Powder. This is just a really nice natural bronze. I've loved using this. And I just kind of do my whole cheek area here. And a bit on my forehead. So you're welcome kind of glam. Remember we've got 10 minutes to run out the door and bronze my neck up a bit. Thank you. Okay, blush. I like to use the NARS blush in Luster. This is so pretty. I'm going through it. Um, and I just use this on my Sigma Large and Good Contour F40. I just go in there and I like to start at the ends here and then just kind of brush it into my um, cheek, this thing here. <laughs> it's got a really pretty shimmer in it, so I'm actually gonna look nice and glowy. I love to look glowy. Um, I don't have oily skin, so I use a lot of dewy products. And that's her. And you can put some on your nose, just a little bit to make you look a bit flustered. Okay, highlighter. Um, I like to use the Stila um, highlighter in Kitten. It's this beautiful, beautiful champagne color. And I just go in with like a little fluffy brush and just go into my tear ducts here. That just brightens your eye up a bit. Um, and then we've got to go down the nose here. And the tip, make sure that's glowing. Let's do it above. Our lip here and then we just go cheek so pretty you can see that hey yeah <laughs> we are nearly done guys okay that's highlighter done when you do mascara and lips and that is it guys so I have been loving the Fitgo Beauty Mascara. So this has, um, this is all natural ingredients, all natural, this is a natural product. Um, it has, you know that lash growing serum? It has that in it and it flakes off, not smudges. So that is amazing. It is so easy to take off, but it is very long lasting. Um, and I just like to cover the top and bottom of the lashes as this face I'm pulling um, and it's just such a nice mascara and it's good for your lashes like come on I might go off camera and do this because I need to get up close to this mirror there we go and I do my bottom lashes I always do my bottom lashes I just feel like it opens my eye up so much okay that's one eye we are nearly done guys how's my wrinkle lines um, and I do coat, coat, coat. Let's get those lashes popping. Oh, shit. That always happens to me. There has not been a time that it hasn't gotten on my lid. But luckily, we don't have much eyeshadow on, so there's nothing really to ruin. And then just bottom here. Okay, 
Okay, and that is mascara done. I do have to clean that. I'm gonna wait for that to dry, so we'll do our lips. Okay, I've been loving the MAC um, Baldy Bear Lip Pencil. Um, it is so nice. It's like a pinky nude, and it just goes on so smoothly, and it's such a nice color. I just like to color the middles of it. Put a gloss on. And we are done, guys. So I use the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. <laughs> so this doesn't dry you out and it's not sticky. So if your hair goes into it, you're not like, you know what I mean? And it just matches so nicely with this lip liner. And we are done. Now I'm just gonna leave my hair as is. My hair is quite naturally straight. So I don't wanna put iron in it if I don't have to. Um, but this is the finished look. So I'm just gonna finish this off with some jewelry. Let us see these beautiful gold crosses. No, nothing glams up a look without a jewelry. I'm also just gonna chuck these two necklaces on. So hard to put these on with no help. And then just this one, which I'll make a little bit lower than the other one. There. So we are done guys. So all product description will be down below for you guys. Give this a go guys and tag me if you post any pics wearing this makeup look. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.